What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and this video I'm going to talk about SAT curves. All right now the October SAT is approaching and I've been asked by many students about the October SAT, the November SAT and past SATs. How do SAT curves work? And if I get one wrong will that automatically be 10 points off and all that stuff. And I'm here to tell you guys that each SAT is different. So each SAT is curved differently. And today we're going to look in depth onto like SAT curves in the past and what you can expect for this October SAT and this November SAT in terms of curves. So let's get into it. Okay, so talking about the curves, this is an article from Prep Scholar, right, which is obviously very trusted. And they go over how SAT curves work. And to basically simplify it, you have everyone has a raw score. And the raw score is what you get out of 58, for example, on the math section. That is the 20 questions on the non calc and the 50, 36 questions on 38 questions on the calc. And of course, add together 58. And for example, if you got 45 out of 58, it says right here, your raw score will equal 45, right? So what the ST does is they get your raw score, so say you get 46 out of 58, and they equate it to a score out of 800, right? And you can see there's not really a lot of complicated math behind it. But if you look at ST practice test six, for example, you can see right here, if you got 58 questions right on ST practice test six, you got 800, right? If you got one wrong, you got 790, you got two wrong, you got 780, and so on. Well, there's some things to notice, and that is, for example, there is no 750 over here. You see in this range, 750 occur occurs zero times. And that's because certain SATs are scored differently, and that is like the SAT curve that people call it, right? Where from a 54 to 53, you lose 20 points, right? Because usually you've been losing 10 for every question you get wrong, but all of a sudden you lose 20. And then sometimes you get a another question wrong, you stay at the same score, right? Or like over here, 670, 670. And it happens towards the lower end is usually if you get one wrong, that's minus 10. And to like the really low ends, like the 25s out of 58, like the 50%, then it's like you can get two questions wrong, you stay at the same score. Uh, two questions wrong, you stay at the same score again. And it's like that. So let's look at a more you know, analytical perspective, right? If you go on the College Panda, and I actually have a College Panda book in my description, if you guys want to download it, it's for math. It's really helpful, right? They have a breakdown of the past like three years of st tests uh, not all of them but you know the april may october january and like that cycle and they show you how how sats were scored that year so if you look at 57 if you got 57 out of 58 which is just one wrong sometimes you got a 790 sometimes you got an 800 and that was actually my case i got my 790 i actually got two wrong right but i only i still got a 790 because if you look over here 56 like what i got 56 out of 58 that year that was a 780, 770. Most of the times, it was a 780 slash 770 range, right? But I was able to get 790 because the SAT I took, see what's right here, yeah, March 2018 one. You can see right here, two wrong, 790. So I actually got pretty lucky that year. And you can see if you got one wrong, you got 800. So this March 2018 test was probably a little harder than most. And that's probably why if you got a three wrong, you still got a 790. That's actually really high. Three wrong and the 790 is actually really, really good. And you can see the SAT I took in April where I got my 800. If you got one wrong, you can still get 800, but if you get two wrong, you get 790. Now, things to notice are that as you go down, obviously your score decreases, but the jumps are different. Like, for example, in October 2017, 53, 50, uh, no, 54 53 was minus 20 points, but in May 2017, it was minus 10 points. So again, the jumps are different, and that's the SAT curve. The SAT curve really decides you know, what the jump is. Um, does it even hit 750? Does it go from 760 to 740? And that entire you know breakdown. And another thing to notice that you guys probably care the most is how many questions can you get wrong to get a certain score. Well, let's look at it. If you had if you got 55 out of 58, which is obviously still like really really high in the math section, then Sometimes what well, you see in April 2016 is 770, then 760, 760, 790 in January 2017, in 2018 March, April 2018. But in October 2018, this test was actually like really infamous because I remember a lot of people complaining about it. Because over here, if you got three wrong, that's minus 50 points. If you got two wrong, that's a 770. Now that's like really, really harsh to think about. Like if you compare that to January 2017, two wrong in January 2017 was still 800. But October, it was a 770. And same for March 2019, which is, you know, one of the more recent exams. And you see, the curve has been kind of rough in the past couple of years. Like you can see over here, 
three wrong with the 770 in April 2019, which is the last recorded uh, SAT math curve slash test date on College Panda. A 53, which is, you know, five wrong was a 740. If you got eight wrong, you got a 700 and so on. So you can see 730 was never hit. 760 was jumped over versus, uh, let's look at, for example, you can so say right here in May 2018, 760 was hit, 770 was hit, 780 was jumped. But there's not a lot of jumps in the previous years. But recently, like in 2019 and late 2018, there have been more jumps. So what, what that's basically meaning is that nowadays SAT, because you know, there's more learning centers and more students who are really, really studying for it, the curve isn't as, you know, as nice or as forgiving as it used to be. Like last year when I took the SAT, like look, look right here. My two test days, very forgiving, right? 800, 800, 790, 790, 780, 770. It skips 760, but that's fine. I mean, if you get five wrong in 770, that you should really be happy because ideally, the ideal curve is one wrong is minus 10 points, but that obviously rarely happens. But recently, it's been one wrong, sometimes 20 points. Like I know the August or the June SAT, which is not recorded here, that was brutal. I think if you got three wrong, you got a 750, which is almost like the April 29 SAT. So you guys really want to get your SAT down because, because like, you know, the more students are becoming very proficient in SAT, because of that, like scores are coming higher and people are doing better. So the curves, like I said, aren't as forgiving. And that's why a lot of students complain for who do actually, you know, don't do as well as they thought. They complain, oh, the curve is nice, the test should be rescored. That's really not the case. The test is curved based on how everyone does. It's not like the person who got the highest scores of 780s, they bumped that up 20 points. Everyone else gets bumped up 20 points, right? It's not high school, it's not middle school. These curves are standardized. They, they follow a normal distribution curve. And that's how they're generated. So hope, hopefully this video makes you guys understand like how curves work in the SAT. And I'll link these articles in the description below if you want to check them out and try to predict on your own what you think the curve for October is going to be. Because in my opinion, I think the October curve will probably be just like the October curve of last year. Look at it. If you got three wrong, you got 750. So that's actually, you know, that's not very, that's not going to make you happy. But Again, there's a possibility that the October SAT for 2019 may be a little nicer, but chances are it won't. And it's probably going to be, if you get one wrong, you may get hit, you may get minus 20 or as you go down, maybe minus 30. So like I said, it's really brutal sometimes, but let me know how you guys do. Let me know if you guys learn from this video, uh, comment down below, subscribe, like the video. Peace.